My name is Ron Pitts. I'm a filmmaker. Ron Pitts is the wisest man I know. I think he's been wise since he was two. He's also a very compassionate man. Um, he never criticizes when he can congratulate. The heart of the filmmaker, it's the, um, it is the will to win. It is the will to win hard. And if you don't have that will, you're going to be an average person. Ron Pitts is a trailblazer and I'm the man I am today because of him. But it has, it, but it has to come from the heart. Um, he was doing this before uh, the Spike Lees, and not only did he do it for himself, he made it possible for uh, students like me. Don't think that you're teaching them that they're not teaching you. You know, it, it goes around. You know, I've got students right here. You guys are doing that right now all of the time. When I think of Mr. Pitts, I think of purpose. And I want to say thank you, Mr. Pitts, for knowing and understanding my purpose. One word I would use to describe Ron Pitts is a good friend. Not only school work, but he was there for me like through the worst moments of my life. And uh, I thank him for that. I thank you, Ron, because like that, you know, that meant a lot to me. Always friendly, always like trying to put his arms around you, even though he wasn't physically putting his arms around you. He was always, you know, trying to help the next young filmmaker come up and, you know, get the accolade that they really, you know, was trying to receive. Mr. Ron Pitts is a legend. He shared with me in a moment of self-doubt, don't give it up, Joe. And I won't, Ron. I won't give it up. And I say to you, my brother, even at this, in your well-seasoned hours, don't you ever give it up. Kooky. Just a kooky old dude. He just seemed like the coolest cat. I hope they think silly. <laughs> I really do. I mean, that's all I, I, I like that, you know. I hope they think silly. I think they, I hope they think I care. That's another thing, I hope they think I care, because I do. I hope they think that um, whatever they need to, to happen, if they can come to me and confide, and I will be more than happy to share my knowledge of, of the film industry with them. Ron Pitts would walk into my office and he would be gracious enough to allow me to pretend to be his boss. My one word for Ron Pitts is planner. I'm glad you've finally been recognized for who you are, for what you've done, and what you continue to do. The one word I would use to describe you, Mr. Pitts, is learned spirit. It's always a word of wisdom, always a good guiding hand, always that special insight. Communicating mystic, and he communicates through the medium of film. And whether he's making it, whether it's his spirit making it through the hands of others that he's touched, there's a mystical element to the man that supersedes the simple and the basic. I know the power of the camera. Okay. And that's the name of that tune, the power of the camera. He's got a lot of power. <laughs> this Renaissance man was chosen, chosen to be part of the civil rights movement, chosen to go in exile when he had to escape, chosen to be a part of the revolution, chosen to be the catalyst and the platform that we could go to without him ever saying no. I've been fortunate enough to meet the best of, of every, of, of people around me. And I'm always surrounded, always surrounded by good things. So I can't imagine another person having a better life. I, I just can't, can't imagine. I've had the best life of any lives that I've ever heard. I could ever imagine. When I think of one word that describes Ron, I think young, okay? Did that one for you, Ron. Uh, it's a feeling there. Uh, usually, a lighter sock goes on the right. <laughs> Why? I have no idea. <laughs> Wearing the same socks are, are the most boring thing in the world. They're, it's non-creative, and anybody can do that. It gives you another feeling. Does, I don't know, does that sound crazy to you? <laughs>